The revolutionary new sequel, AI2, by Paradise Decay is coming 2023. Sweet! Hi guys, PD here, welcome to the channel, welcome to another new video. Today we're checking out a brand new game on the Quest 2. I'm playing on the Quest Pro, it's called Primal Hunt. It looks a bit like Turok, it's a dinosaur survival type game. So let's dive in. Okay, I'm in the game guys, this looks really nice already. I don't know anything about the game, I've not seen no trailers, I've not seen no gameplay. Those are bubbles. I'm in a tank. Okay, we're going to start a brand new game. Let me have a look at the options. Is that me? Okay, gameplay. Bow angle. Bowstring draw distance. Seated height. Hold to activate Artemis. Swap hands. Swap arrow side. Calibrate avatar. Please enter T pose and then press the A or the X button to calibrate the avatar scale. Comfort vignettes, we want all these off. Everything off. Zero vignette on everything. Okay. Movement. Free movement, follow head, okay. Turn options, we want smooth turning. Medium smooth turn, okay. Okay, let's start a brand new game. Welcome value patron and thank you for your purchase of our highest tier hunting experience. You are currently suspended in one of our biochamber catalyst tubes. Your cyber suit model is a state of the art biomechanical vessel designed to provide the most realistic and exciting hunting experience while staying safe within our containment units. Your cyber suit is syncing your sensory and neural connections with cloned organs to match your bio signature and prepare your consciousness transfer. Hunter's physical and augmented cognition pairing in progress, establishing sensory connection, syncing nervous system response, brain wave signature acquired, hunter consciousness integration, connecting, phantom bridge complete. Thank you again and enjoy your hunt. These bubbles look cool. Welcome to your hunting lodge. Here you'll come to receive your hunting permits, customize your gear, take practice in the shooting range, or simply bask in the glory of your previous hunts in your trophy room. Okay, let's get started. Move over to that console in front of you. Okay, so I'm a cyborg. Look at that. That looks amazing. Actually, guys, that uh, looks realistic. I can see my arm through the side of the Quest Pro. My arm actually matches up with a robot arm in the game, which is pretty cool. I don't feel disjointed because I feel like this is my real arm. I've got options on my arm and data. So move forward, okay, smooth locomotion, smooth turning, that's good. Trophy room, lodge menu, campaign, skill tree, shooting range. I'm in like a cave. Well, already this looks a lot better than Grid Legends. This is your lodge console. All the information for your hunts, weapons, and the biomes is stored here. My name is Sir Philip Lambert. I'm the game warden for these biomes and your personal hunting guide. Let's get you acquainted with the lodge console's interface. Okay. Before you start your campaign, we require all new hunters to undergo a training session in our proving ground found in the arid portion of the campaign menu. Okay, training. Sounds like a plan. This is your hunting permit screen. Here you'll select from available hunts in the different biomes in the regions. Select the proving ground to start your training. The proving ground, there we go. Read through the hunting guidelines and review the loadout that I have laid out for you. To review your gear, click the edit loadout button on the far right. Okay, edit loadout. 
This screen is where you can review your current gear loadout and armor set. For future hunts, you'll be able to customize your armor and gear, but for now, your loadout is locked with the basics to prepare you for the tutorial. Once you're ready, click the Go to Hunt button on the screen to activate the teleporter behind you. Okay, so it looks like we upgrade our items throughout the game. Look, we've got like armor we can upgrade, weapon upgrades. Uh, this is going to be a very interesting game. Go to Hunt. Proceed to the teleporter to begin your hunt. Teleporter, here we go. Destination Trihorn Plains Proving Grounds The teleporter is your main way in and out of the biomes. Push Activate to teleport to the Proving Grounds. We need to hunt one Galliminus adult, which are the little dinosaurs that you saw in Jurassic Park. Do 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 do. No. Welcome to the Hunter's Proving Ground. Here I will provide you with basic training that you'll need before starting your campaign. Hunter's Podiums are located throughout this area with training information on everything you need for a successful hunt. To get started, move to that first podium with the floating icon over it. HUD system. Your HUD system shows needed information at a quick glance. At the very top of the HUD are your yes. compass, health and stamina bars. On the left and right are your visual and audio meters, as okay. well as your aero inventory. What's that? Scorpion. Or is it a spider? Hello mate, oh it's a spider. Prehistoric spider, hello. Come here, say hello. He's fast. You are equipped with a state-of-the-art tech bow and an arsenal of arrows. To activate or deactivate your bow, simply push the Y button. For some target practice, click close on the screen to launch a group of target drones. Destroy all the drones and move to the next podium. Okay. So Y, there we go, there's my bow. That looks really, really cool. Um, we've got haptic feedback, guys. I can feel the control is vibrating. They get more intense when you, the further you pull back as well. Okay, combat feels nice. Yeah, instinctively combat feels nice. Kinetic arrows. And I've gained some essence. Shield. Let's test out your Artemis shield. Hold down your gauntlet trigger to activate your shield. The shield will block most projectiles and small melee attacks. You can also swing your shield to perform a shield bash. Your shield will reduce in size as it loses health, but will also recharge over time. Click close to launch the attack drone. Block its lasers and destroy the drone. Sorry mate. I hit my green screen behind me there. Okay, shields. Oh, there we go. That's awesome. <laughs> if I do this, oh, if I do the same on my right hand, I just condemn the finger. Okay, am I supposed to kill this thing? I think I'm supposed to uh, block and then shoot. Okay, how far can we shoot into the sky? Let's break the game. Well, it didn't come back, so... And the game's still working. This is an ammo resource crate. You'll find them throughout the regions to help with needed supplies to complete your hunt. To open, flip the two levers upward using your grip buttons. To collect any resources, reach out and use your grip button to distance grab the item. Okay, sounds cool. Grip. Aha, what have we got in here? Arrows. Nice. Do we just let go of these? Are they collected? I do like how you've got all the information. 
on your screen. They've done a really good job with the, the backgrounds. I do feel like I'm in a wide open space. This is a health resource crate, providing you with health cells that give you instant health. Use your crate button to flip the levers upward and distance grab the health cell. Okay, we're going to try the grab mechanic. So I'm going to open these and then move away and try to grab that from a distance. There we go. That works. Fluid mechanics. Okay, one more. Sprint and dash. Your hunter's armor is equipped with stamina driven sprint and dash systems allowing you to move faster for short durations. To sprint, click the left stick while walking. To dash, push the left stick in the direction you want to move while pushing the B button. Sprint, dash. Okay. Nice. I can hear my breath panting as well, so it looks like there's a stamina system which you can see at the top of my hood there. Climbing, yep. Your hunter's armor is equipped with powerful climbing magnets on each hand. To climb ladders, hold down your grip buttons and pull yourself up. Climbing does drain your stamina if you hold on too long. Okay. If you run out of stamina, you'll fall. To recharge your stamina, hold on to any handhold with both hands. To climb to the top of a ledge, simply pull your hands downward. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Very instinctive. Just hold and grip. Okay, we made it. Is this me getting practice ready for Horizons when it comes out on the PlayStation VR 2? Back in the day I was a big fan of Turok. I'm hoping this game gives me those types of vibes. It's certainly got the, uh, the graphic style of Turok. This does not look like a modern game. It looks like an old game. I don't know if this is a port from a previous game. Can I get the spider down there? Nope. Grappling arrows. Your arrow inventory includes an infinite amount of grapple arrows that allow you to move along the challenging areas with grapple points. When at the proper distance, a targeted grapple point will highlight. To grapple, toggle to your grapple arrow with the A button and shoot the grapple point. Okay. Hold down the A button, you change your arrows, grapple arrow. I guess we're going to swing across here. That's awesome. <laughs> I love that. I can see why they got like comfort options, that sort of thing. That looks like a arena down there. Let me uh, grab some arrows. Okay. This is a uh, pretty instinctive so far. Pretty natural. With your grapple arrow, you can also perform a grapple hang from your grapple points. To grapple hang, hold the grip button when firing your grapple arrow. Keep an eye on your stamina bar. Hanging from a grapple point will drain your stamina, which may cause you to fall. Practice a grapple hang with that distant grapple point. Okay, so there's a chest there, look. And there's a chest over there, so we're going to grapple. And then... Hold grip. Okay, and do we just drop? <coughs> Ouch, that hurt. Health, please. Okay, try again. Okay, we made it. I can hear flapping. 
Was I a big bird? It's one of those rhino beetles, look, with the uh, horn. Can I kill it? Come here. Stay dead. Throughout the regions, you'll find different intractable devices, such as that lever attached to the wall. Walk over and use the grip button to pull down the lever to open the game warden's gate and move to the next podium. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Do 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 Okay, we have podiums. This is a really good tutorial. Artemis system. Your gauntlet is equipped with the Artemis system, one of the best tools a hunter can have. The Artemis will supply needed information on your hunt, help you track your quarry, as well as scanning for clues. To activate your Artemis, hold your hand to your helmet and tap the trigger. Nearby hunting clues are now marked in the world with an icon over them. Move to the clue that is next to that podium. Okay. So hold my hand to my helmet. Oh, that's cool. I've got like a crosshair now. So it's telling me to go down here, look. Clue in proximity. Point at the clue and pull the trigger to scan. Food source. Herd fern berries are part of a Gallimimus diet. Use your Artemis to find your next clue. Hunting clues provide essential information on your quarry. The more clues you find will make tracking your quarry that much easier. Scan the local clue by holding your hand to the clue and holding the trigger. Okay, we're going to make our way up here. And then we're going to scan bow. Grapple. Uh, oh, I'm stuck in the... I got stuck in the podium. Okay, Artemis. Can we scan these plants? Map system. Oh, there's poo. We found some dino poo. Fresh Gallimimus excrement. Traces of herd fern berries found. Your map has been updated with a new search radius. Okay, we have a new search radius. Your Artemis system has updated your map with a new clue radius. Use your map and move to your next clue. The map on your gauntlet gives you your current location, clue radius, target quarries, waypoints, and other useful tracking information. You can set a waypoint by simply clicking anywhere on the map. This will also set an icon in your HUD's compass. Scan the nearby clue to keep tracking your quarry. Okay, we've got health here. More ammo. I'm going to select here, put down a waypoint. And then we're going to uh, head over to the waypoint, which is behind me over here. Tracking. Once you have scanned the final clue, Artemis will update your map with the estimated location of the main target listed on your permit. Your Artemis will also start to pick up any tracks your target leaves behind to make tracking easier. Okay, let's scan the footprint. The your formation matches that of an adult Gallimimus. Follow the tracks towards the next podium. So this has given me like Monster Hunter vibes. And it's a lot more in depth than what I was expecting. Hunter Echo? Your Hunter's Echo reveals the current alert level of the dinosaurs. White means they're nervous. Yellow is an alert state. And red rings mean they are fleeing or attacking. Very ominous. Okay, I'm scanning with Artemis. Tagging, I can see a dinosaur over there. Your Artemis has the ability to scan and tag distant Shit, it's coming, it's coming. in order to track them on your compass and map. Hold your... It's coming. 
Got him! Oh, that was so satisfying. Hello there. Hello there, little gilla at my man of my nose. But look, I can't, can't pronounce your name. Okay, this is satisfying. And we're getting XP for killing the dinosaurs. Uh, do not kill the dinosaurs. <laughs> Your Artemis has the ability to scan and tag distant creatures in order to track them on your compass and map. Hold your hand to your helmet and tap your trigger to open your Artemis. Line up the crosshairs over the target and push the A button to place a tag. Only one tag can be placed at a time. The target will appear in your HUD compass as well as on your map. To clear tags, simply hold down the A button. When creatures lose health, weak point icons will start to appear. Hitting weak points with an arrow will deal increased damage. This will make hunting down tougher prey a breeze. I'm very sorry, Tutorial. I killed the dinosaurs before tagging them. Um, let me check up here. These are here for a reason, aren't they? These are here to explore. I do like going off the beaten path. Okay, what we've got up here? Some more health. Okay, I'll take that. I can hear a dinosaur making noises. Scanning. <coughs> I still get that sensation of falling when I drop off ledges in VR. Traps. When you choose a hunting permit, you can equip different traps and lures that are found around your waist on your belt box. Let's test out your freeze trap on that group of compies. Use oh. your grip button to grab the ice trap. To arm the trap, use your grip to turn the top knob. The trap will blink when the trap is armed. Throw your trap towards those compies. A proximity radius will emit from the trap once it's active. Kill the compies and then continue to the next podium. Twist the cap to arm it. Now that's vibrating when I put it down there. That's armed. Um, where are these guys walking? There's one. Okay, they're frozen now. Can we shoot them? He's got an arrow stuck in him. He's tough. Okay. There's a waypoint up here. Stealth. Stealth is your best friend when tracking and hunting down your quarry. With your Artemis open, Stealth areas are displayed within your HUD. To go into stealth mode, enter a stealth area and crouch. To crouch, click the right thumbstick. A stealth icon will appear if you are successfully in stealth mode. Your shield can also switch to an active camouflage. Open your shield and press the A button. Move closer to the quarry and tag it down. Okay, there's a big dinosaur over there. Let me tag him. He's tagged. Okay, am I stealth now? I want to take him out, but I'm going to go on to the tower. Ouch! My knee's cracked. Okay, let me try the freeze trap. He's frozen. Take him down. Okay, that was awesome. He looks amazing. Nice shot. For every dinosaur you bring down, you'll earn Hunter's Essence. Those orbs will be valuable when you get back to your lodge. Scan your kill to prepare for field dressing. 
this is one of those games that just keeps giving and giving. And like I said, there's a lot more depth than what you realise. This could have been a really bad game, but so far it's quite interactive, it's quite interesting, quite intriguing. So let me uh, scan this guy. After you've killed your quarry, you'll need to prepare it for field dressing and delivery back to your lodge. The organs of your quarry are of value and will be requirements for most permits. Scan the dinosaur first by holding your hand out and pulling the trigger button. Once scanned, a pattern will appear on the side of your quarry. Pull your trigger to activate your gauntlet laser and trace the pattern to expose the internal organs. Distance grab an organ to complete your hunt. Okay, this is interesting. So you scan. And now we cut open the dinosaur. And then we're going to grab the organs. Um, we have a heart. A dinosaur heart. Reach the teleporter to complete the hunt. Teleporters are located throughout the regions and are marked on your map. If your permit is complete, an active teleporter will take you back to your lodge to collect your trophies and rewards. Move to the nearby teleporter and return to your lodge. Nice, I enjoyed that. So I guess we're going to do a real hunt. That's pretty cool. Destination Lodge. Okay, activate. Beam me up, Scotty. Welcome back, Hunter. Make your way to the Lodge console to turn in your Hunter's Permit. You have gained Essence Points from your hunt. Click on the Skill Tree to go to your Hunter's Skill Tree and spend your newly acquired points. Okay, submit permit. Congratulations on a successful hunt. Your permit is accepted and you've earned a head mount as well as unlocked a new item for your arsenal. You have also unlocked a trophy room and shooting range located on either side of your lodge console. You have gained essence points from your hunt. Click on the skill tree to go to your hunter's skill tree and spend your newly acquired points. Nice, so we've unlocked a herbivore lore. This is your hunter's wow. skill tree. Throughout your hunts, you'll be collecting animal essence, which can be used to unlock skills and upgrades. When you're ready, click the back button to continue your hunter's journey. Okay, so we've got like movement, attack, and armor and health. Upgrade health. And we're going to upgrade my attack. I've got two points left. Um, let's do a bit of speed. Stamina. We might need to run away from like T-Rexes, so I'm going to do my... Oh, I've unlocked the um, second tier down as well. Improve run. Improve speciality. Resource arrows. Improve kinetics. This is pretty cool, guys. I'm going for the improved run in case we come across a T-Rex. Okay, all points have been used. So the trophy room is open, let's have a look. Wow! Ah, welcome to your trophy room, the mighty hunter's sacred sanctum. Here is where you come to mount and stage your trophies from your hunts. You can customise and proudly display your head mounts, collectible bones, claws, or even a full-scale body mount. Areas that are customisable will have a trophy podium near them with available trophies to showcase. Your head mount is available from your last hunt. Make your way to the trophy podium near the front door that has the floating icon. Okay, this cave looks amazing. It's so big. Select a trophy. Um...
Okay, so we need to move to this thing here, don't we? Trophy information. Okay, mounted galley minus head. Select the trophy. There we go. Nice. Pretty well detailed. I do like this room. Okay, let me have a look at the uh, shooting range. And then we're going to try and complete one of the missions in the campaign. Welcome to your shooting range. Here, you'll have challenges available that will help you hone your skills or simply have fun with some target practice. Move to the console to activate the challenges. Okay, sharpshooter, kinetic level one. Easy level sharpshooting kinetic challenge. Start. I've got unlimited ammo. The combat feels really nice though, guys. Oh, they got shields. Okay. So that was my time and my accuracy. Nice. Okay, let's jump into a campaign. Okay, Proving Grounds Basic Training. We've done that one. Hunter's First Steps, a standard hunt. Congratulations. You have unlocked a new Hunter's Permit, taking you to the Trihorn Plains region. This hunt will get you comfortable with your armor, weapons, and the environment itself. Review your Hunter's Permits, as well as explore your custom options for your loadouts. Your quarry in this hunt is an adult Gallimimus. They are rather skittish around any perceived threat, but can reach top speeds over 40 miles per hour. Because of our overbreeding, they are not the most intelligent of our quarry, but still a fun hunt. They pose no real threat, but keep your eyes open in this region. There are other dinosaurs roaming around that are more dangerous. Okay, so we're going to enter a map now where there's dangerous dinosaurs. Your quarry in this hunt is an adult... Proceed to the teleporter to begin your hunt. Welcome to the Trihorn Plain, the breeding ground of one of oh, our wow. most majestic dinosaurs, the Triceratops. These creatures can get up to 10 feet tall and weigh over 12 metric tons. But your hunting permit is for something more adequate to your skill level. Make sure to stick to your permit and avoid any dinosaur that is out of your league. You can always check your permit and progress by opening the data button on your gauntlet. Data, okay. Current hunt. Backstory. Stats. So... There's clues here, okay. So we're looking for clues to hunt the adult Galliminimins. I can't pronounce the name. This game feels a lot more tactical than what you... I missed. This game is a lot more tactical than what you think it's going to be. Health packs in here. Okay, are these guys going to stomp me? Am I safe if I go down? Are you guys friendly? These are herbivores, so they, they only like plants. So hopefully, unless there's a baby somewhere, I should be safe. Okay, we are here. So we need to head over here. Look, there's a waypoint. Let me change my arrows. I'm in the water. Am I safe in the water? 
Okay, am I heading in the right direction? Yes. What's that? There's like um, something in the tree there, look. Try to scan it. Bees! Can I use bees to tactically uh, scare the dinosaurs away? Okay, that did nothing. Clue here, scan the tree. Gamma-minus DNA detected on the bark. More data is needed to gather the target's location. Your map has been updated with a new search radius. This is where the Gallimimus rubs his backside to scratch his itches. So I don't know what this blue thing is here. I want to see what this is. Let me go and check it out. And then we'll head towards the waypoint. Okay, so down here. Ouch. There's like a bridge look. And there's a way up on the bridge. I can hear growling. Okay, are you friendly? Hello, are you friendly? I come in peace. He's not friendly. He's chasing me. Crap, he's scary as hell. He's quite big, guys, and the animation is pretty decent as well. Okay, there's bones here. Is this what I saw on the map? No, it's not. Oh, it's a teleport. Okay, so that's the way out. Gotcha. So we're heading over here now. Food source. Herd fern berries are part of the Gallimimus diet. This bush shows signs of having been recently eaten from. Your map has been updated with a new search radius. New location. And we're heading over this way. More bones to my right. So we're going up here. There's clues up here. Okay, do we need to make our way up here? Nice. I do like the little subtle dinosaur noises. Okay, here we go. Um, are we just going to kill it? Kill it from here. He might run. He's running. Oh, okay. So we need to uh, track him down, we need to stay away from the Triceratops. Where did he go? I forgot to tag him. Is there? Tag him. Remember, your Artemis system allows you to tag targets with the A button yes. to make tracking them easier. I've got 11 arrows, can we kill it from here? Missed. Okay, hopefully there's some ammo crates up here. I'm really enjoying this. Go away, big boy. Oh, there's a lure. Okay, do we need to twist this and then throw it? There's two there. Okay, that's going to... Let me tag them. Okay, are you going to come over here? Knowledge earned. I'm trying to lure them in. Come on. Oh, 
weak point on his leg. This is quite challenging. Missed. We have some tracks here we can follow. There we go. Let me chop the lure down. Mate, grab that, grab that. Inside the clear area. Die. Die. Run, PD. Okay, is that him? Got him! We got him, guys. Nice shot. Collect your quarry and head back to the lodge for your next permit. Where did he die? Kill this one as well. Okay, so we need to scan this one and harvest the parts. <laughs> Grab the heart. So now we need to go back to the teleporter, but I want to check out there's a dinosaur, there's a blue one up here. Let's go and see what this one is. What's up there? Okay, so maybe that's for like flying dinosaurs. Pterodactyls, that sort of thing. Okay, we're close. Oh, it's a little baby one. Why has the music... Oh, crap. Why has the music changed? I'm being attacked. Can they climb? They can't climb, can they? I'm safe up here. Ah, fell. Don't fall down, PD. I can hear my heart. Where did they go? There's something up here. Oh crap! Uh, panic! Don't panic, Mr. Mannering! Being attacked by a Velociraptor, I think. Are you a Velociraptor? That looks like a raptor. My heartbeat's really pumping now. There's another one. Are these bonus dinosaurs to kill? Nice. Another one. Don't jump. <laughs> I need some health. Okay, guys, I'm going to make my way back to the teleporter. There's more, there's more. I can hear him. Go away. Ah. I'm going guys. There's a chest there. And there's a chest here. Is this health? Yes. Okay. Okay, we're good to go. Okay, we found the teleport. See you later, mate. I need some more health. It's a good job these can't climb. We made it. Okay. 
ピーミョしかしオッケー、ハンディングリワード。Do I get any bonus stars for killing the、uh, raptors? Two stars. Not too bad. I'm going to leave it there, guys, so thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to hit my little bell. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!